Since we've examined congruences that exist in triangles, this lesson is going to take a brief look at congruences specifically in right triangles. And we're going to begin by looking at a congruence theorem that people try and push that doesn't work, and that is the side-side angle congruence. Now, as the name would denote, side-side angle tells us that we have two consecutive sides and an angle that is not included. So, in this diagram, I have two such triangles. We have sides of length 4 that are congruent, and sides of length 5 that are congruent, and then an angle of 45 degrees in both cases. The thing is, these are not congruent triangles. The presence of the two items, the two legs, does not control where that angle is going to come out at. Uh, this is going to come up later when we're working with something called the law of sines. It's called an ambiguous case. But what we do have in right triangles is the ability to work with the fact uh, that we have a hypotenuse and then a leg that would be congruent. So this gives us theorem 4-6. If a hypotenuse and a, right leg, and a leg of a right triangle are congruent to the hypotenuse and the leg of another right triangle, then the triangles are congruent. And the reason that this works is if I have a hypotenuse on two different triangles that are congruent and a single leg on each triangle that are congruent to each other, then we could go through and by way of Pythagorean theorem, calculate the length of that third leg, and it will come out to be the same congruent length of the others simply based off the fact that we are dealing with a right triangle. So hypotenuse leg, in the end, will result back into a side-side-side congruence without having to go through the process of finding the length of that third side to show it. So how can we use this to help us do proofs that we'll come across with right angles or with right triangles. So in the figure on the left, we have a parallelogram with marked congruent sides and a altitude placed inside of them forming right angles with both of the both line segments AD and BC. And what we need to prove is that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CDB. And the way we're going to do this is as such. We will begin by making the statement that as marked AB, line segment AB is congruent to line segment CD. And that's a given that line segment BD is perpendicular to AD and BD is perpendicular to BC. And that's also a given. Next, we could state that BD is congruent to itself, BD, and that is the reflexive property. Next, we'll state that triangle ABD and triangle CDB are right triangles. And that's by definition of right triangle. So since we've established that those are right triangles and that we do have all these other congruences, that by hypotenuse leg, these two triangles would be congruent to each other. The CD and AB sections are our hypotenuses, and BD is congruent to itself, and that is the leg. So we have established that proof. I've just run out of room for being able to write it. Next, how are we going to prove that these two triangles are congruent? Well, let's begin with our given statements. We are given that CD is congruent to AE. So we'll mark that accordingly. 
AC is perpendicular bisector to DE. So it's perpendicular and it's a bisector. So if we can, and we need to prove that the two triangles that you see are congruent to one another. Well, we can begin with our given facts. And I'm just going to write given to save a little bit of room. Next, we will state that ABE, triangle ABE, and triangle CBD are right triangles. And that's by definition of right triangle. Then, triangle ABE is congruent to triangle CBD by hypotenuse leg because AE and DC are the hypotenuses, EB and DB are the legs that are congruent, so we've established that we have hypotenuse, uh, congruent hypotenuse and congruent legs. So again, hypotenuse leg congruence is the only form of a side-side angle congruence that will work. And the reason it works is because through Pythagorean theorem, we could actually prove side-side-side congruence. It just saves us an extra step. So make sure you have these ideas down and are ready to use them because hypotenuse leg does show up quite a bit.